Hello everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we have a Halloween themed video and we're going to be doing what is going to be happening in the month of October for you guys. So instead of pick a car, we have pick a broomstick. So we have group number one, group number two and group number three. So please take 10 seconds to uh, choose your group. Okay, so this is also a very special month for me because I have my birthday on the 31st of October. Yes, my birthday is on Halloween. It is cray cray. <laughs> I am a witch. <laughs> also, for any of you guys who have a birthday in October, happy birthday and uh, fellow Scorpio or Libra. And uh, yeah, let's get started with your pick a card. So starting off with group number one. Hello, group number one. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's see what you have for October. Let's see what's going on in October for you. We have healing, heart chakra, fuchsite, positive expectations, letting go. We then have courage, heart protection, queen of pentacles, unnecessary worries and give it to God. So there's something you guys are possibly going to be worrying about in October and you're going to be letting go of it, yeah? So it says, take a deep breath and on the exhale, release the situation to God for healing and answers. It also says unnecessary worries. Release the burden of worries by giving them to God for healing and solutions. So whatever you are going through, you are possibly healing in the month of September and then going into the month of October, um, having let... Sorry, I was just adjusting that. Having let go of whatever that was that was in September, yeah. So this healing heart chakra is all about healing that part of you that is stuck, yeah, and having the courage to get through that. And I feel like you guys in the month of October will be very, very successful in that. And because of this, because of letting go, it says you'll have positive expectations and basically things will start moving for you when you thought that things were stuck. It's when it says release the burden of burden of no, wor hmm. <laughs> can't speak. Release the burden of worries. There's definitely going to be some something that you're going to need to let go of, and basically you're going to be very successful because of it. Once you've let go of this, um, you're going to be very successful in money. You're going to be very. You're going to be much more relaxed. And the more you release this um, element of having to protect your heart. I feel like you're going to be much more successful yeah so let's have a look and see what it says about the healing heart chakra for fuchsite in my uh eternal crystals oracle cards because i normally like to read this sometimes because it has extra messages for you guys you're a natural born healer you heal with your words actions and energy you can make a difference in other people's lives now is a great time to learn about natural remedies counseling teaching medicine or healing in some form remember also that that you can also conduct healing work in more subtle ways in your everyday life. You don't need to be a doctor or a nurse to be a healer. You may be a great listener or have a gentle, compassionate energy, which greatly benefits your friends, co-workers or family members. Whatever form of healing you do for others, either consciously or subconsciously, be wary of becoming too drained. Make sure you find a balance between giving to others and nurturing yourself. You can express yourself openly and honestly without hurting others. You may need to stand your ground and say no at times in order to honour your true feelings. Fuchsia is associated with the heart chakra. It is known as a healer stone and it has shown up to let you know that you're a healer, but also to let you know that some sorry, that, that you need to let you know that you need to prioritise healing as well. So take I'm gonna read that again, guys, sorry. Uh, it has shown up to let you know that you're a healer, but also to let you know that you need to prioritise healing for yourself as well. So take some time out to recharge and re and rest and renew your energy so that is what i can see for you guys um with this positive expectations let's kind of see what this is all about and let's kind of clarify what this is oh nice working hard oh god amazing ace of wands so you've got something really really good coming towards you guys and the turn of a new opportunities could also be somebody kind of giving you the olive branch and saying hey let's kind of make up let's get together yeah, you're going to be reaping the rewards guys you're going to have a really successful month and you're going to be manifesting some really amazing things to any of my fellow scorpios hello because i feel like this is a lot for you guys so 
if you are a Scorpio, then this is definitely directed at you. I just got that message very, very strongly. Um, also, with this um, Venus in Libra, I definitely feel like there's a lot of kind of love energy that's going to be given to you. And you're going to be really appreciated for the work that you've done by the universe. And therefore, you're going to get a massive opportunity. This could also be in the form of somebody coming in to um, give you a message, to contact you. And this can also be just a really good opportunity in work or love, okay? And just a general good opportunity. So in terms of star signs, we have Aquarius and Fire. These are two people you could be dealing with. It could just be the general energy that's around you right now. And I feel like for you, Fire is very, very important in terms of the Ace of Wands because this is your drive that's going to bring you forward. You could also be Aquarius or, as I say, dealing with an Aquarius or a Fire sign. <clears throat> excuse me it's going to be someone coming towards you so also guys i'm going to give you a, a letter and see what sort of letter we have here i'm on the verge of collecting charms and we're starting off with letters to start off with so in the month of october let's see who we're dealing with we have p k x U, 8 with X and F. So you've got two X's. So there may be two X's who may be coming back in terms of like X lovers. We also have F, U, K and P. So this can be someone's initials, can be your initials, can be where you possibly want to live, like a certain country or county or state, a possible road name. Um, I'm also feeling the need to add up all these numbers that are right next to all these letters. So we have 3 plus... 5 plus 8 plus 1 plus 8 plus 4. So 29 and then 2 plus 9 is 1. So you guys have number 1, which is the magician, which is absolutely perfect. So you guys have a new opportunity coming towards you. And it's looking really, really good. So thank you so much for watching. If this resonated, please let me know. And if you like the extra additions of the little charms, then please let me know. I'm going to carry on doing those. So let me know if you like that. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye guys. Hello group number two. Let's get started with your reading and let's see what's coming for you in October. So let's have a look. We have Calcite, Calmness, All Chakras, Dreams Coming True, Miracle Healing, The Ace of Pentacles, Prosperity, The Devil, and Be Gentle With Yourself. Wow, we've got a lot of random kind of energies here. So you may be kind of feeling a little bit discombobulated, but that's because things are coming to fruition, right? So basically the universe is kind of guiding you on the path. And I feel like the animal symbol of a tiger or a lion is going to be really important for you. That and a fox. Like those ones with the colours, like the orange and yellow kind of colours, that's really going to be good for you. Like those animals with that colour coat, those are going to be the ones that are really strong. Like they're kind of fierce and they're kind of going towards what they want. So in the month of October for you guys, for group number two, I feel like dreams are going to be coming to, to you. What's really important is for you to be kind to yourself and be really gentle with yourself. And it's really important for you to get healing in terms of maybe Reiki and um, receiving Reiki, possibly do some um, EFT like tapping, um, possibly get some craniosacral therapy. Um, Kind of any like counselling could be really good for you. That is just going to clear the old, you know, because you've got the new coming in. There may just be like a little bit of this devil energy, but this can also indicate this uh, Capricorn and Scorpio energy, just some really kind of like sexy energy. Uh, there may be somebody who you come into contact with who's really, really sexy. And you you want to kind of like, you know, do stuff with them. Um, Obviously, if you're over the right age <laughs> watching this. Um, yeah, it says you've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover. This could also be an energy that you're releasing right now and you're you're healing from it, yeah? And because you're healing from it, you're going to get prosperity and your dreams are coming true. So with this Ace of Pentacles, I feel like this is to do a lot with money. And it also is to do with like um, a golden ticket. So it kind of reminds me of Charlie Chocolate Factory where he's given a golden ticket to... Um, to see the factory and I feel like this is you guys where you're getting a ticket to being given something that's new for you okay so let's kind of clarify what's, what's coming through oh, what's coming through for you in terms of dreams coming true okay have the set, uh, eight, of, eight of wands eight of, eight of swords we have the king of cups gorgeous let's get another one 
So you may be overthinking and thinking you're never going to get into a relationship or no one's going to come towards you. That is not true. If somebody is going to come towards you, they may be associated with your work. Um, <clears throat> getting work-life balance. They may help you with work-life balance. They may just be someone who's going to help you. Um, they can also help you get through this type of energy that's really kind of making you feel like you're numb. Okay? Um, there may be some energy right now that feels quite heavy in terms of the month of October. But you're going to get through it and you're going to feel really good about it. There's going to be somebody who's going to stop you from overthinking. Is going to stop you from um, basically avoiding what's happening. Okay, There may be an element of I want to look back into the past. Things were so much easier back then. Or possibly there may be a, uh, a kind of... What am I saying? There may be a kind of path that's pushing you to go forward but you're kind of you're kind of focused on the, the past because you think that it's not going to work out but actually it's really really good we have three kind of cards that are very kind of mental energy quite negative but then we have the knight of cups so i feel like you have to just be really nurturing to yourself and there's definitely like a male soft kind of male energy coming through in terms of like an emotional man emotional male so if you are um looking for a partner could even be a woman as well but i'm feeling more of a, ma a masculine energy um, if you're looking for a partner, there could be somebody coming in when you may feel like at your lowest. Somebody could possibly help you through. It could even just be a friend, you know. So let's have a look and see what star sign you could be um, kind of interacting with. Or this could be you. Just any kind of uh, zodiac signs. We have Mars. So yeah, definitely. Is somebody quite masculine coming forward. Um, a masculine energy, like a male energy. Very good. Love that. Some action as well coming forward, which is what I want to see. Lovely. So... Possibly you could be too much in your masculine energy as well. Everyone has masculine and feminine energy, but I feel like possibly you could be in too much in your masculine energy and you may want to just fight off things that are too vulnerable for you. So just make sure you're letting things through. We have Taurus, also very masculine energy. Um, I love this because we have like the bull and then we have this woman. So I definitely feel like there could be like, if you're um, a female looking for a male partner, there could be somebody who catches your eye who's very sexy, possibly quite mas possibly, sorry, masculine um, and very like, um, just very sexy. We have the number two, so I'm getting partnership there as well. Um, or could just be a very sexy man kind of coming around. And I'm saying this mainly just for my female um, women, women who are interested in men because, because sorry, there's like a little bit of dust. Um, basically, because it, there's a female and a male so for that particular message, that was just for my female and male relationships. I'm getting a guy with a backwards hat on. So you may meet someone with a backwards hat. It may just be kind of like their energy. And we have Libra, which is absolutely perfect. All to do with relationships. Could be somebody you're dealing with who is a Libra. We also have Virgo underneath the deck. Um, so basically, these people could be who you're dealing with. Um, this Libra, Libra, Venus is in Libra, um, at the moment until the middle, I think, or the start of November, um, it's extra special for Scorpios as well, so if you're a Scorpio watching this, it will be in the sign of Scorpio until, I think, the start of November to the middle, don't quote me on that, I'm not very good at astrology, <laughs> but that's kind of what I've been hearing, so, but also for all of you guys, any star sign who's watching this, this will be really good for you in terms of love, things are starting to balance out, okay guys, so if you've had a rough time of love, it's going to be balancing out whether you're single or in a relationship, so, um, I also have a little charm with a little uh, Christmas, like a little Christmas charm. And it's kind of standing out to me. Um, so I feel like for you guys, there's something around Christmas time that's going to be really kind of interesting for you. Um, it could be to do with um, a Christmas party and you meet someone. Um, it can also be around Christmas time. Things are just going to be really settled and amazing. Okay. Just going to be, I'm getting like a clean feeling. Things are being cleared. Um, okay, so I also have some charms in terms of some letters. So let's have a look and see what letters we have. We have two F's, one N, a V, and a D. So if you're dealing with anyone with these letters, um, could also be their like second name, could be your name or your second name. Um, and I'm going to add up all the all the numbers that are next to all the letters, as you can see, and then we'll get like a final number for you guys for the month of October. Okay, so we have four plus four plus one plus four plus 
15 and then 5 plus 1 is 6. So the number for you could be 6. Please look up the number 5 and 6 for angel numbers for any specific messages. I like that we have uh, F is number 4 and V is number 4. So for you guys, there could be somebody who you're connecting with. One of you has the letter V and one of you has the letter F and you're very similar. And then you two could be coming into partnership, okay? So there you go, guys. I hope that was helpful for you. If you would like to, to please subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to get a private reading, I'm doing 10% off until the end of September. So please let me know and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye, guys. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for being here. Let's see what's happening for you in the month of October. We have bloodstone, detoxifying, root, heart and sacral chakras, sexuality, emotions, transformation, communication, the world, queen of wands, five of wands, uh, amethyst, revealing your true self, and we also have dolomite, stay strong in your faith. A positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive mindset. This card loves to come out. It comes out all the freaking time. It's so funny. Um, okay, so for you guys, you guys could be really be connecting with your sexuality. I feel like a lot of you are kind of letting go of any ties and constraints that are related to sexuality, okay? This can just be to do with you being a female or male or just whoever you associate yourself with. Your own sexuality and the way you approach the world is really kind of being looked at right now. And I feel like for you guys, it's really important for you to communicate how you feel about that to, to somebody who you care about. If it comes out in conversation, it's going to be really important for you to communicate about it. And I feel like for you, you are being really strong and empowered in your, in your femininity. Especially for my female viewers and people who associate as female. You guys are really kind of being drawn to... I feel like a lot of you are definitely being drawn to this third group. Like a lot of you are really kind of looking into those emotions that is happening right now and transforming. You're really kind of looking into some dark emotions that are really kind of ne being needed to look into. And you're transforming because of it. You're going for a massive spiritual awakening in October. And you're going to be really communicating how that makes you feel. And you're going to be communicating your authentic self. Like you're actually going to be revealing your true self. And... It says, as you allow others to know the real you, you feel loved for who you truly are. Okay, guys? So you may feel the need to kind of fight off any new people because you may feel a little bit unsafe and to feel like that that you don't really want to do that. But actually, guys, it's going to be really suitable for you. It's going, sorry, it's going to really suit you to kind of be really authentic about who you are and actually be like, no, I'm going to be really strong and powerful. And if people don't agree with me, then that's their own problem, you know? It's not my problem. Because I'm revealing who I truly am and that's the most natural thing I can do. And it says detoxify root, heart and sacral chakra. So you're possibly releasing some anxiety um, around your heart, around love. And communication could be coming in from somebody from a far off land, from somebody, from somewhere where you like, you may be communicating with someone at a place that you've never been before. So you could meet someone new who really, really suits you. And you could actually be in partnership in the month of October and, and like starting probably like at the end of October to November. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're possibly going to get into a relationship. Um, and possibly a lot of you old twin flames are going to be communicating. Uh, some people who are in separation in terms of not even twin flames, just people who are in separation could be communicating as well. Um, as long as you guys are constantly transforming and letting your emotions flow that's the most important thing you can do right now okay and I feel like there's just definitely a lot of my fifth in terms of sexuality I feel like you're really connecting with your sexual organs which obviously if you're over 18 or over the legal age or whatever the age is 16 18 um this is for my viewers I feel like for you guys you could actually be having more intimate relations should we say with people just to kind of explore how you feel um, could also be just being more open about intimacy in terms of hugging, just intimacy in terms of talking, you'd be more intimate. And I feel like, yeah, you guys are really transforming in terms of your intimacy when it comes to a new partner. Like, when new people come in, you're going to be less afraid to be intimate in terms of communication. You know, it's going to be really, really good for you guys. Okay? And guys, my spirits and guys just told me to just wear protection and be safe, okay? With, and to do with sex, okay? They just told me to do that, so... There's going to be a lot of Scorpio energy around. I keep mentioning Scorpio. I don't feel like because Scorpio is for the month of October. I'm really feeling that for you guys. So a lot of people are going to be getting it on in, in this month, I think. 
or just connecting with each other. Just old twin flames are just coming together. Yeah, exactly. Some of you guys are definitely connecting with somebody from a far off land. And you're going to be really happy about it. But make sure not to fight them off, guys. If you if you feel like you don't want to be with them, then don't be with them, guys. I mean, if some of you might maybe be fighting off this new, this new person or an old flame. If they're not meant to be with you, then, you know, say goodbye. But for a lot of you, there's going to be a lot of communication that's coming in quick. And you're going to be very balanced in terms of a relationship. This is very Libra energy as well. We have Libra here, which is really cool, which is all about balance terms of love so a lot of you guys are going to get really balanced with love some of you are going to be really strong because you're revealing a your true self maybe some relationships could be breaking down but that's going to be good guys because you're going to be moving towards something that's going to suit you much better so i'm looking for a star sign zodiac signs that are for the month of october this could be used could be somebody you're dealing with so okay so we have earth signs so taurus capricorn and virgo this could be used could be someone you're dealing with and we also have Virgo, uh, yep, so more earth uh, sign, zzz, 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 sign, zzz. <laughs> we have 26 and 6, there could be two people who you're very interested in, you could be an earth sign and they could be an earth sign, or you could have earth quite prominently in your chart, I feel like a lot of you could be Virgos that are connecting with another earth sign, they could also be very similar to you, and we also have Aquarius, underneath the deck we have Pisces, these are the people you could be dealing with okay and we also have i have my charms here this is a new edition <laughs> i have some letters i'm just going to see what i want to choose in terms of letters so what does group three need to know in terms of the person's name their name etc etc okay we have s h v O B I and D okay so any, any person with that name um, and we also have numbers next to the names and I'm going to add them all up for your personal number for the month of October okay so let's have a look we have S one H four V is four I've got one plus three plus one plus two is sixteen. So one and six or number seven can be very prominent for you in the month of October. So there you go guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up, comment down below if it resonated. Also if you'd like to subscribe, my red, the red button is down below and also if you'd like to get a private reading with me. I'm doing 10% off all my readings until the end of September. So thank you so much. Much love to you guys. Hope you have a gorgeous October. I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.